Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Attention third, fourth, and fifth graders. Student Council applications are due this Thursday, August 31st. Our after school programs are starting soon and if you are interested in any of these clubs, you will need to see Miss Sally for permission slips. Some of the clubs we will be offering are Buffs Rec Club, 4-H Club, Dance Club, D&D Club, Math Rocks Club, and Girls Be Strong Be Fit Club. Buffs Rec Club will run Monday through Thursday. 4-H Club will be once a month on Mondays, focusing on STEM and science projects. Um, be Strong Be Fit Club will be on Tuesdays for girls. Um, and then D&D Club will also be on Tuesdays, Dungeons and Dragons. The Dance Club is for first grade through fifth grade on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and will be held throughout the whole school year with a final recital at the end of the year. Um, and the Math Rocks Club is for third graders. Good morning, Dos Rios Buffaloes. My name is Mrs. Dickinson and happy IB Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, August 29th, and I am so happy you are here today. Today for lunch, we have um, spaghetti with meatballs or a toasted cheese sandwich on whole wheat bread. Your fruit and veggie choices are leaky greens, cucumber, baby carrots, celery, tomato slices, apples, oranges, an applesauce cup, or peach slices. And you can choose milk or chocolate milk today. So, sounds like a delicious, healthy lunch. Today's birthdays, we have two birthdays today. They have the same birthday and they're in the same class. We have Dylan and Moses from Miss Sorge's class. Happy birthday! So happy that you're here with us. Last week, we had the opportunity to talk about some of our IB learner profile attributes. Last year, we or last week, we talked about being inquirers and being knowledgeable. If you see me in the hallway and you have some examples of how you were an inquirer, how you were curious, how you asked questions and learned more, I would love to hear it. And also um, ways that you were knowledgeable, ways that you developed conceptual understanding and shared that with your classmates, I would love to hear all about it. So stop me in the hall and tell me how you were an inquirer and tell me how you were knowledgeable. This week, we are going to talk about being a thinker and being communicators. This is backwards and it's throwing my hand off. We're gonna talk about being thinkers and being communicators. When you are a thinker, what you're doing is you're using critical and creative thinking skills. Critical thinking skills means thinking about your thinking. Does it make sense? Where am I getting these ideas from? Just because I read something, does it mean that it's true? So I'm really thinking about the things that I'm learning. And then creative thinking, thinking in new ways finding new ways to solve a problem. And then I'm making reasonable and ethical decisions. A lot of our reading units are focusing on being ethical learners. Ethical learners show empathy, which is thinking about other people and the way that they might think or like thinking how other people feel. Showing integrity, doing the right thing even when nobody's watching and following your own set of principles inside your body. Um, showing respect to others and showing compassion to others. So when you are a thinker, you are making those kinds of ethical decisions when you think about the others who are around you. So this week, when you are being thinkers, make sure that you're using critical thinking and creative thinking to make ethical and reasonable decisions around you. Also, being communicators. Effective communicators express ourselves confidently and creatively in a lot of different ways. We collaborate and work together with the people in our classrooms, with people who are not in our classrooms. We listen carefully to the perspectives of others when we think about how those jive with our thoughts. But when they don't jive, we make sure that we are communicating those thoughts respectfully. When we are communicators, we listen well and we share our ideas clearly and confidently at the appropriate time. We work together with others. So this week, I want you to think about how you can be a thinker, how you can be a communicator, all in respectful ways in our school. 
Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day today and let's charge the storm. Have a great day.